Hey Libra, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. How are you? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I took the entire month of December off in order to finish publishing Tarot School and I am very pleased to say that it is now available. If anybody would like to learn to read the tarot the way that I read the cards, or perhaps you just want some more understanding of what you're actually seeing in a tarot card reading, then Tarot School may be for you. You can go to the link in the box below at deepthoughtswithdana.com. <clears throat> Goodness, you can go to the link in the box below at deepthoughtswithdana.com if you want to check it out. All right, Libra, this is a general reading for the collective of Libra. You may see yourself anywhere in this reading, but I promise you, this reading is not for you. It is virtually impossible for this reading to be for you specifically. So, if you would like confirmation, clarity, understanding, guidance, and wisdom, have your cards read by your favorite tarot card reader. If that's me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Super easy to schedule. And if it's not me, I encourage you, no matter who it is, to just get your cards read by someone that you trust. Okay? All right. Libra, let's just hop right into this. So we open this reading with the Seven of Pentacles, right? The Seven of Pentacles to the King of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse. What this tells me is that Libra is doing some, some reflection and assessment on some motivations, motivations to the King of Swords in reverse. Angry, okay? So Libra is angry. Libra is angry and they're doing some reflection and some assessment. Why? Why? Why are you angry, Libra? Why? Right? What are the motivations? Why are you angry? Ace of Cups in reverse is saying that there is some repressed emotions happening here. Okay? So some reflection and some assessment on as to why you're angry, why you're repressing some emotions. That's how we open this, okay? Libra reflecting and assessing on why they're angry and their repressed emotions about a situation. To the Three of Swords in Reverse, clarified by the Three of Swords in Reverse. Libra wants some healing, okay? Libra wants some forgiveness, some optimism for the future, and some healing. Double, double whammy, double dose, okay? Libra really, really is reflecting and assessing on why and how this all happened, and Libra is making the decision that they want to heal this situation. They want to heal this situation. Well, what's the situation? The Six of Cups in reverse. This is unrealistic energy, okay? It's unrealistic. It's also stuck in the past, okay? To the Page of Pentacles in reverse, obstacles to the long-term goals. So what are these cards saying? It's saying that Libra is stuck in the past with some kind of... Libra wants to reunite and reconcile with someone from their past, but they're perceiving it to be unrealistic because nothing is happening in this situation. It's a dead situation. But Libra wants to reunite and reconcile, but they're thinking perhaps it's unrealistic because nothing is manifesting in this situation as of right now. The sun in reverse. Libra's weighed down about this, and they're not real optimistic that they can have some forgiveness in this situation. To the Queen of Pentacles and the Hermit. Hold on just a second. I need. I was going to pull an extra clarifier for this, but I forgot. Spirit, tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles to the Hermit. Both are Virgo cards, okay? Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles to the Hermit. That's why I wanted to get extra clarification because they're both Virgo. Tell me about Hermit, please. Tell me about the Hermit energy. Okay. Okay. All right. So Libra is not very optimistic about healing the situation because nothing is being manifested. What is the, uh, the subject matter of the situation? It is the Queen of Pentacles. It is somebody that Libra sees as um, potential mate material. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, uh, <laughs> Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This is particularly the card of Virgo. It makes no difference. Spirit does not give 
a shit what your zodiac sign is, okay? They don't. They don't care. The point is, is that Virgo, ha Virgo, Libra has their eye on somebody that they would like to make their queen of pentacles. They're doing some soul searching and some introspection, S trying to light the path, seeking some inner guidance, trying to light the path as to how they should go about approaching this queen of pentacles. The chariot in reverse, because there's opposition to the five of wands, conflict to the lovers in reverse, a misalignment of values and a breakup of a relationship in the past. So, so Libra is in their energy, focusing on this queen of pentacles, trying to figure out, doing some reflection and assessment about as to how to reinvest in this situation, doing some soul searching and some introspection about the opposition caused by the conflict in regards to a misalignment of values and a breakup in this situation in the past. The high priestess in reverse to the two of wands. This is disconnection, right? This is fear of the unknown. So because of the disconnection between Libra and this queen of pentacles right now, there's fear of the unknown when it comes to trying to reach out to this queen of pentacles. The wheel in reverse. This is um, this is a fear of change. This is a fear of change to the six of swords, a regretful and necessary transition. Libra is afraid that the situation can't change because of the way things ended in the past. How did things end? The lovers in reverse again. A misalignment of values and a breakup in a relationship. Two of Pentacles. Libra trying to prioritize, okay? Trying to prioritize the situation to the tower in reverse. This is a personal transformation. This personal transformation brings prioritization and balance to Libra's thought patterns about wanting to reach out to reunite or reconcile with someone from their past, but their apprehension to do so because they don't think the other person will be receptive, okay? So there's a personal transformation that brings some prioritization into this situation. This personal transformation says, I see this relationship as having the potential to build a future upon with the Ten of Pentacles. The Fool, I see this relationship as a, as a new beginning and a new journey by which we can build a future together. And I am preparing to take a quantum leap in following my heart's desire. To the Knight of Pentacles, as I look into the landscape of my future, the Magician, I want to manifest I want to manifest, I want to re-manifest this relationship into my life. Princess of Cups in reverse. This is um, a creative block, right? A creative block. Nothing is happening. I don't even think y'all are speaking, okay? And this has Libra in the energy of the Nine of Swords. An immense amount of anxiety and despair because there is nothing being communicated or created between the two of you right now. Hence your apprehension to reach out because you don't even know if this person's receptive or not. I don't think you know anything about this person anymore. Who is this person? Well... She went, or they, she, because it's the Queen of Pentacles right there, went from being the Queen of Pentacles to the Empress. This tells me that you have upped your desire, okay? Instead of just thinking about possibly bringing this person into your life um, to hold position and title, now you're obsessed. <laughs> she has elevated from the queen of pentacles to the empress. Okay. As you build your courage, as you come to the revelation and the decision, the personal transformation that this is 
what you want for your future. This person grows from the Queen of Pentacles into the Empress, somebody that you want to build abundance with. Pulling on a great deal of inner strength, though, a great deal of inner strength, because you're about to bring justice to the situation, okay? You're about to bring your card, Libra. You're about to bring justice to the situation. Libra is about to pull the trigger and bring some justice into this situation. They want to come out of being left out in the cold. Libra wants to come out of being left out in the cold right here. And by golly, they're going to take some action to do it with the Knight of Swords. Libra, this is you communicating your desire to come out of being, to, to come out of, of the cold with this person. You are going to go forward with a very direct, straightforward message to this person. <clears throat> There's a challenge though. Oh, hold up. Hold up. I retract. I retract. What you're doing right here, Libra, what you're doing right here is communicating, okay? Communicating your state of spiritual poverty in this situation. You are going to communicate your state of spiritual poverty, right? And how you are very much challenged that there is stifled creativity. No, I'm sorry, Libra. I was right the first time around. I was right the first time around. Yeah, I was right the first time around. Okay. You are going to swiftly communicate your desire to come out of the cold. Swiftly communicate your desire to come out of the cold. Okay? Okay? But your challenge challenge with the seven of wands your challenge is the stifled creativity between the two of you and the emperor in reverse indicating you may very well think that this person is inflexible that they're inflexible and that they're not going to be receptive to any kind of communication about bringing some justice to this situation that's what that's about the tower in reverse um This is about averting disaster, right? And that's kind of where Libra think, where Libra, where Libra's mind is, right? You want to bring justice to the situation, and your desire for this person has increased from the Queen of Pentacles to the Empress. You want to bring justice to the situation, but you're afraid that none of this is going to work out. And this card is about averting disaster, and it's followed by the Eight of Cups in reverse, which is walking away, right? Walking away, disappointment, walking away. So averting disaster by, 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 by not doing this, right? Because this is, this is clarified by the King of Wands. This would be Libra wanting to ensure success and achievement. This is Libra wanting to succeed and achieve in this situation. To the judgment, having to make a very serious life-altering decision that changes that changes the trajectory of everything, right? To exceed success and achievement, massive decision, right? Massive decision. But concerned and afraid averting disaster, walking away, nine of wands in reverse, hesitant, defensive, paranoid to the six of wands because of a fall from grace in a state of disrepute. What these cards are saying is that Libra is going to make a decision to move forward, to bring justice to this situation, but they are very, very concerned that this person will not reciprocate because of, of water under the bridge from the past. Strength comes in. Needing some strength. Needing some strength. Why? Why? Because Libra is about to speak their truth with the Ace of Swords. Libra is about to speak their truth to the King of Pentacles to gain control, stability, 
and success in this situation. The King of Pentacles is about power, control, self-discipline, stability. Libra is Libra is about to um sorry, there was a message that distracted me. Libra is about to take control of the situation, okay? Libra is about to speak some truth, take control of the situation, and the world card comes in and says, "Come what may, I'm closing this cycle out. I can't stand these feelings, these thoughts. I just I just need to clear the air. I just need to clear the air." And that's what this world card is about, closing this cycle out one way or another, right? One way or another. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This lost opportunity to the Eight of Wands in reverse that I've been holding off on for God only knows how long. To the Fool for fear of appearing or feeling foolish. Queen of Cups in reverse. Because of my emotional insecurity. Queen of Wands, done with it, done with it. I am going to achieve and succeed one way or another in this situation. I am going to achieve and succeed. Searching my subconscious mind and my intuition, strategizing, contemplating in a defensive posture as to what my next move is going to be in this situation. Done feeling, done feeling insecure. I'm absolutely finished with feeling insecure about this situation. The devil, your self-disparaging thoughts. This is you in your head talking yourself out of this over and over and over again. But Libra has, has, has come to the determination that I am not going to let my own toxic thoughts hold me back from bringing this situation to a culmination one way or another. Let the cards fall where they may, no pun intended. Let the cards fall where they may, but I am, I'm handling this situation. I'm handling it and I am not I am not listening to my self-disparaging thoughts. Star, there's hope, faith, purpose, and renewal on the horizon. Nine of Pentacles, hopefully we can bring the Five of Pentacles to a culmination. Hopefully we can bring being left out in the cold to a culmination. The world card comes in again and talks about the end of one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle in your life. And you want that either way. If this person does not want to re-engage with you, that's fine. If this person does want to re-engage with you, that's even finer. <laughs> that's even better, right? But you're bringing it to a close either way. Ace of Wands, you're taking inspired action to create a passionate, inspired new beginning in this relationship. And the Two of Pentacles says that you are prioritizing this. This is going to be your priority. This is what you are going to um, work out throughout the month of January. This is what you're going to do. This is your priority. Wow, Libra. Well, there you go. I think we have time for a clarifying card. We're only at 1828. So let me pull a clarifying card for you. This is from the numerology guidance um, tar uh, tarot oracle cards. Okay. Numerology guidance oracle cards. What do you want to say here for Libra? Well, we got creativity. Card number three, creativity. What is this about? What is creativity about? This card indicates a need to reconnect with your creative side to improve your quality of life and align yourself with source. By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to step out of your practical, logical mind, Libra. <laughs> by, I'm sorry, by drawing this card, you're being encouraged to step out of your practical, logical mind and the seriousness of life in order to partake in lighthearted endeavors that are stimulating and fun. Playful, creative expression is important because it raises your vibration, which brings you closer to your dreams. So step out of your mind here, Libra. Step out of your mind and throw caution to the wind. Why the hell not? What do you got to lose? Maybe a little ego. So, so. 
This is a time to immerse yourself in any creative endeavor, endeavor that lifts your spirits and makes you feel good. It might take the form of playing a musical instrument, painting, writing, cooking, jewelry making, decorating, sewing, photography, landscaping, dancing, or designing. It doesn't matter what it is as long as it brings you joy. Through playful creative expression, you can heal disharmony in your body and disharmony in your life. I don't know if that resonated with you or not, but that's what the card said. Can't change it. That's what it is. But I do believe that it's talking about necess most necessarily, most, I'm so tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is my last reading. I'm not going to do these anymore today. This is talking about the necessity of stepping out of your mind and creating something that will make you happy. Okay, Libra, there you go. There's your reading. Namaste.